I've got the Hobbywing Quick Run Fusion Pro in Mjolnir. It's all set up. It is done. It is ready to go. But first, I'm going to show you, and then we're going to take this thing for a crawl. This Fusion, it's not like the Axe Systems the startup. You'll see. Let's get to that table. Check it out, guys. Now, this is a Capra transmission. I did try to fit this into my Capra, and it was just way too long. But it took a lot of trimming and all that to make it work. Is it possible? absolutely now triple seven servo right here i'm going to put a triple seven back in the back but it's still got the 1100 back there <laughs> now so i've already got my wires set up if i can power the new the triple seven back here yeah this right this thing right here is going to be ready to go yeah now battery it's going to get a 3s guys let's get this thing outside let's do this now, the startup that I tease you guys with is this right here. Look at this. It doesn't really have that fast startup that the AX systems have. So, this, this Fusion, it's, uh, it's truly something of its own. Now, as far as any noise you're hearing, that's coming from the gears. The 11 tooth seemed to be a little bit loose for some reason, even though I had it pushed as far up as I could. But, uh, yeah. A lot of times when I do a, uh, when I pick a vehicle for a test or something like that, I look at the electronics that are in it. If it's a loud, whiny, screaming, I tend to not pick that vehicle because I know how loud it's going to be on camera. This right here, on the other hand, is, uh, this is nice. Let me see if I can take this four-wheel steer set up down without flipping over. It's probably going to flip. Probably going to flip for sure if I can get in good position here. <laughs> There we go. I told you it was going to flip. <laughs> it's been a while since I've driven a mule near. Anyway, let's see what we got here. Let's go to front steer only. Yeah, this system, this fusion system, is uh, it, it's just awesome. Very impressive setup. It's got feedback too. When it gets under load, you can kind of actually feel it a little bit. I should probably. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Get back into full steer. There we go. Let's go do something else. This. I mean, you can absolutely go that slow with it. Now, like with the axe, if it takes off, it's kind of like, you know, it just kind of has a start to it that's kind of higher. No near the fusion does pretty good. And we got speed to move out. Look at that. <laughs> oh, really? You want to want the dirt? Fine. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I got a little dirt. Nice. Oh, oh, really? Okay. Oh, can you do a loop the loop in the pipe? Mjolnir, can you get it? I don't think he can. Let's go. Let's go try. And all right. I don't think it's got enough. <laughs> Certainly not like that. God, that was pathetic. Here we go. Oh my God! 
It does! Oh! Oh, oh, if I can get out of here. Oh, at least I'm at the end. Can I do it with crab steer? Do I have enough to go around like this? Ready, set, go! Oh! Almost! I guess I kind of did it though. <laughs> Let's check that drag brake out. This thing is going to hold. The downhill control is absolutely awesome. Here we go. I mean, it's just phenomenal setup. They're going to drive, watch how smooth this is. And then when you're gonna go back up, look at how smooth that is. It doesn't actually let up and coast until it starts to drive. Very nice. Are you guys ready for the slowest lap in history? This is so slow, it probably won't even make a dust storm. Look at that corner, cut that thing nice. Here we go, cruising across the big hill, look at that. Woo! Yeah, look at this. Look at the flight on that. It almost cleared it. It just came up short by like 90%. Yeah, look at that thing go. Look at that go. I got enough time to zoom in. Take care of all kinds of stuff. Oh no, I got a little squirrely. Oh, I better hurry up. Oh God, run! Ah. Woo! That was blistering. Good old mule near finally got a brush this upgrade. This may be one of the first time it's ever had brushless. Yeah, um, that Fusion, that is nice. Super nice. The only noise you were hearing was the pinion gear and spur. And I think I, might, I may need to move the transmission, adjust it a little bit, or get the Trill transmission housing so I can easily put a different, or move that little bull gear down and make a perfect mesh on it. So that's a great transmission housing that they have. But uh, this thing right here, that fusion, that's awesome. I tried the pipe and went back too far and kind of messed that up. Then it went around pretty good. I was actually able to steer it in the pipe, okay? I was, it was doo, 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 and I was able to steer it to bring it back to me or away. I've never been able to do that before. But I almost, it almost, I might could get it with a bigger pinion gear. Almost got a, a sideways spiral out of that thing. That was awesome. I mean, I kind of, sort of, three quarters got that, but anyway, fusion system, absolutely awesome. Uh, about 42 second lap on the track, slowest on record. The shirt would probably be slower, but anyway, I didn't do it with the shirt. Guys, in that description, I'll link up as much of this as I can. I'll link up the fusion and all that. Absolutely phenomenal setup. Use those links, affiliate links, A main, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. Check that. So, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Use those links. Hit that subscribe. Ring that bell. And thank you all for watching. Uh huh. I'm watching you. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see, also for channel memberships. If you guys want to be a part, channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.